Hi, my name is Wes Clark. I'm the president of LIES, Linguistic Interrogation Expert Services. One of the questions I get asked frequently is that some agencies do not take written statements from people, but they interview them and take audio or video statements from them. How can investigative statement analysis benefit them in that circumstance? Well, the principles of investigative statement analysis have proven to be very valuable not only with the analysis of written statements, transcripts and notes and memos, but also during interviews and interrogations. When talking with people, we apply the same principles of investigative statement analysis by asking open questions and soliciting a free narrative account from them. This ensures that the information we get from them is from them and not influenced by us, the interviewer. By understanding the principles of investigative statement analysis and really listening to their account, you'll be able to bring them back to key points in their statement or story through detailed strategic questioning, focusing on areas that are missing information or are sensitive for them to talk about, or that show signs of deception or lack of commitment. If the individual is being truthful, this process will fill in the gaps and provide significantly more information. If the person is lying, you're bringing them back to the specific spot in their account where they are either lying or leaving out relevant information, which often causes them to believe you have more information about the case and their activities, and that you know that they are not telling the truth. Well, why else would you be, keep going back to that specific spot in their story? We are not accusatory at all, just probing the relevant areas in their story, which causes an increase in their deception apprehension, leading to verbal evasive responses or changes in their physical behavior and demeanor. If you took an accusatory or confrontational approach and called them a liar and said they're going to jail because of this, the changes we may see in their language and behavior may be due to that accusation, and even an innocent person may react. So the language and behavior changes will be of less value to us to evaluate. That's the value of using investigative statement analysis within interviews or interrogations especially when they're recorded by audio or video means because this process comes across highly professional and thorough with no negative connotations. Mm -hmm.